Zika affected more than 33 countries in the region, and by September of 2016, the United States Agency for International Development launched the Zika Airs Project to help empower countries in Latin America and the Caribbean to fight this emerging infectious disease. Working across 10 countries, ZAP provided the tools, knowledge, and resources needed to prevent the spread of Zika and other viruses such as dengue and chikungunya throughout the region. ZAP focused on three main components, entomological monitoring and surveillance, vector control, and environmental management. Chikungunya with Zika, donc ça a vraiment bouleversé ces populations, surtout les gens ne sont pas vraiment connus ou pas habitués avec la maladie. Donc, le premier défi nous dans la communauté, c'est la question des déchets. Donc, comprendre l'importance de ne pas quitter les récipients qui sont capables de faire de l'eau dans l'environnement caillou. Mosquitoes can breed in a bottle cap. It can be the smallest area of water. Through some of our programs, children in the schools in Haiti have become agents of change. They're educating their own families about the importance of a trash-free environment. We need to eliminate all the chaos that is in the water. We need to get the water in the water. We need to get the water in the water. We need to cover it so that we don't have to go there. Then we need to get the water. They're going home from school excited to clean their own yards, empty water from their tires, educate their parents. They're our biggest advocates in Haiti. We need to get the water in the water. We need to get the water in the water. We need to protect all the people in the water. So, thanks to the project, we have the disease of the mosquito, we have the disease. Nous ouais parce que alors nous pas dit pas que mon stick dans la communauté mais les diminuer à un taux très 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 élevé. Le programme porte beaucoup de changements. Non seulement comme j'avais déjà dit pour les élèves, pour les professeurs et aussi pour toute la communauté.